The profits and taxes of Perpetual Treasuries Limited were brought to the attention of the Presidential Commission of Inquiry today. Zufik Farzan reports on day 56 of the proceedings. For the financial year 1st of February 2015 to the 31st of March 2016, Perpetual Treasuries Limited had made a profit of 5.4 billion rupees. This represents the highest percentage from the total profits made by all 14 standalone primary dealers for that period. This was revealed when the monthly returns of all primary dealers for the respective financial year were produced by the Assistant Director of the Department of Supervision of Non-Banking Financial Institutions at the Central Bank of Sri Lanka. When these documents are presented today, the state said that they cannot make these documents available to the councils for the interested parties. At this moment, an objection was raised by the council appearing for the former governor, Aunshan Mahendran. Taking facts into consideration, the commission decided that they could release documents to the interested parties under the condition that the names of the respective companies are deleted from these documents. It further came to light that for the period from the 1st of February 2014 to 31st of March 2015, three primary dealers, including Perpetual Treasuries Limited, had not paid income tax on profits. However, it was not clear if they were liable to pay those taxes during that period. In her evidence, the former chief dealer of First Capital Treasuries, Suhini Fernando, noted it was the public debt department that called them and told to bid under the prevailing market rates. She said the company had no keen interest on entering a long-term bond and thereby placed a dummy bid. When questioned on direct placements, she noted that the front office of the public debt department gives them a rate to make placements and profits are made after defining a clear margin in the transactions. Fernando said though her husband served in SMB Money Brokers Private Limited at that time, she never discussed business with him. This was highlighted because an individual from SMB Money Brokers Private Limited had contacted the chief dealer of the Bank of Ceylon, hinting an increase in market trades for February 2015.